Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own gameplay. Today we got the King, Lee Dae-hoon, against uh, Mur Hashem Husini, and both of these guys are really, really good. I'm pretty sure they both qualified for the Olympics. I have not looked that up though, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but these guys are really, really, really good. Um, super high level Taekwondo, very dominant in their division. Um, any So if you don't know... Uh, the background, I'm sure you guys know the background, but if you don't know the background, Lee Dae Hoon here, very good offensive fighter, um, has a, has an answer for almost everything and is really good at changing the game and adapting as the fight goes on. He's also uh, super strong. I have not had the pleasure of fighting him, but I do have a teammate who has fought him before, and um, he says Dae Hoon kicks about as hard as I do, and I am like five division, four or five divisions above him, so... He kicks super strong. Um, same thing with Hosini. Uh, background knowledge, Iran generally is really good at their front leg. In the clinch, they have an um, out and crescent kick, and they have a really, really, really good punch too. And I'm saying good with their front leg. I mean like reverse kicks, head kicks. They got the whole shebang on the front leg. Uh, so really, really interesting to watch this fight, and I'll break down kind of the stuff as I see it. Uh, I've watched this once or twice just to make sure I can pull out more information, um, but we'll see what we can get into here. Oak back and forth. Okay. Nice adjustment. So. Uh, the reason Dehun goes for this punch is Iran in general, uh, just previous knowledge, Iran in general likes to stand their ground and will try and score on you on your way in, uh, or just when you get their, into their distance in general. So uh, Dehun in these first couple seconds here baited out um, this front leg. He notices in general he's standing there for the cancel, and so uh, one of the best ways to cancel the cancel or to go around the cancel is for this punch. Hosini though is really, or uh, Murash, Mur. I have to say it, I keep saying Hosini because I think that's his first name. Or Hashem, really good on this front leg. Um, as Dehun's closing the distance for the punch, able to sneak that front leg in there on the Hogu. And immediately he's going for the head kick. Trying to capitalize on that. And not bad also. So if you guys notice, this kick is actually designed to go behind the, the cover, which almost worked. Here. It goes, it's supposed to hit right in this back area of the Hogu. Almost there. Uh, Hussein does a good job of blocking that. Uh, but yeah, like 20 seconds of the game and a lot of a lot of action already. So the early aggression kind of stopped and put put Dehun behind, trying to reset the match, trying to figure out another way in. Husini seems very concerned, or Mira Hashim seems very content letting Dehu dictate the pace of the match. Good flick kick both sides, or uh, on Iran's side. Good punch, too. Uh, on Iran's side, knowing Dehu's looking for this whole 20, 30 seconds, Dehu's creeping in his distance. Uh, or not 20, maybe like 10, 15 seconds. Dehun's creeping on his distance. So with that in mind, he can see Dehun's, he, he made the guess that Dehun is probably trying to look for some kind of offensive play, not only because he's behind. I mean, it could be Dehun sitting defensively because there is still a lot of time left, but uh, Iran's opting for the option. He's probably looking for a way in, caught uh, Dehun um, with a nice blitz, got that punch in. And that was a good adjustment by Dehun. So in this this whole last minute, um, this whole last minute, Iran's been kind of fighting him toe to toe. Like, and in the situation, has either been has either been Iran standing there and countering, or Iran's going in. And so one of the best ways to counter that is what Dehun does here and opts for the head kick, or at least tries to anyway. I think the situation before this punched. Iran's been going forward a lot. Let's see if we can capitalize on that and tries for the head kick. So good idea on his part. 
But what he was trying to do there also, so on the first instance, Iran evades with a headshot, cancels. The second one, he kind of pokes to see. Usually what happens is if I do, let's say I make some kind of offensive motion and your defense is to stand there and cancel. Occasionally, uh, or I'd say sometimes what happens is because I just did that defense, I may not use that defense again. I'm going to switch it to a different defense. So the point of Dehoon's kick here was to kind of thwart out, is he going to, is he still going to stand there with the cancel or is he going to slide back on this time? And it's kind of a safer move to like, what's, are you, are you resetting the board or are you kind of sticking to the game plan here? Um, so tries for the headshot, it runs in place with the cancel. He tries for the longer, uh, safer cut kick. Iran stays in place. Dehoon figures he's probably going to stay in place the third time. Attempts for the cancel to cancel on top of the cancel and then with a punch, but unfortunately doesn't score, which is why this that comes out there. He has the feeling Iran's going to stand there. A good way to counter someone standing there is the punch, especially if they're going to cancel. Now, kind of the harder part with these really high-level matches is you're, both both players' defenses are really good, so trying to find a way in is difficult. And, I mean, it always puts you at risk, but they're both trying to figure out, you know, what's this other guy playing at? Uh, what's a safe way? What's a way I can try and capitalize and go onto the offense without giving up a bunch of points? All right. Around. That was a good try with the punch, sir. Or, I mean, he scored that one, I think. Back for second round. So, what would be the um, adjustments here? Dehoon, I mean, Iran in general, always strong on the front leg cancel um things you can do around that are punch like david's been trying head kicks which he has been trying or the back leg uh on iran's side how do you fight someone like dehoon who's really good at all of that stuff um well one is to make sure you're following up because at higher level matches it's you know the first blow against the first defense or the first offense against the first defense is probably going to get blocked so it's really about who's better on the second and third part of the Part of the follow-up like are you able, still able to block and get your counter kicks in even though this guy's pressing you and on the offense can you after you first if you kick first um can you expect the defense properly do you are you expecting the right defense and then launching the counter to that defense and or are you catching him in uh awkward situations where he may not be ready that's that kind of that kind of deal where it's not I kick once and then I can score. It's more of like I kick once to get his defense up and then in that little flurry, maybe I can score something else. Or maybe as we're disengaging, I can engage again where he's not quite as ready. His defense is quite, quite, aren't quite as ready and you can keep moving forward that way to get points. So if I were, all in all, I said that for Iran, maybe a little bit more offense and a little more following up in the flurries would be maybe the adjustment that I would say. I mean, I, I could be wrong. So Dehu now trying a lot of back leg and scores one. And yeah, scores one and Iran's throwing the, a lot of punches on his offense to close the distance and then jam it up right away. It looks like the adjustment is a little bit more flick kicks, one, two, instead of just one cut kick. And trying to poke around that Iran's cut, or Iran's cancel, and mixing in the back leg. Iran looks like they're going for more of a try and look for more punch opportunities, which is really effective. Knowing that Dehoon's going to be coming in. The reason this is also effective, too, is because they know Dehoon has to be coming in because he's ahead, and Dehoon in general likes to, um, likes to press the offense, and so it is easier to set up the punch that way. That being said, it, Everyone's like, you can't just be like, oh, I guess I'll just punch Dehun because Dehun's also really good at pressing you and then sliding back as you're kicking. So wait till you're done and then follow up when you follow up on you after you're done kicking. So 
I mean, even though I'm saying it's really easy, like, oh, yeah, just punch Dayhoon because he's on offense, it's actually hard to do because Dayhoon's really good at maintaining distance or baiting you into an attack just so he can counter after. Nice try. Once again, Dayhoon's trying that because a lot of Iran's Defense has been canceling, so one way to get around that is just flicking to the head, knowing Iran's probably going to be in place. Or what I was talking about when David's going to uh, maintain the distance there. Trying to find anything to get around this. this. Small poke here, small poke there. Oh my gosh, he is a. How did that even score? Follow up, good follow up there. Wow, nice. Uh, so, the one of the things that resetting here is so he knows right after, right after this happens. Ran with a great fall up. It took one, I think three kicks. But one, two, three. So that's what I'm talking about with the, you need to follow uh, these higher level matches. The first one, maybe two kicks are getting get blocked. You need to follow up that third time. And that third time finally scores here. Uh, what happens here mentally is he can see Dehu is re-engaging very, very aggressively. Uh, probably not thinking on defense. Uh, he's expecting Dehun to go first, which he does. And then um, Dehun's retreating because he didn't see what he wanted. Uh, and Rand's capitalizing by pushing him, by pushing him, by, by pressing him, rather. And then no, uh, and then getting that small second kick in there. So good job by Iran reading the situation, realizing Dehun's probably going to press. And if I blitz him um, now, then probably not too, not too much defense back there. Nice cut by Dayun. Yeah, so just a cut. Nice, easy, nice, easy press in. Great job by Iran, though, mounting the offenses when he's doing it. Oh, no, is there an ad? Still struggling to find plugins for SSMS? Oh, third round. Okay, right in the third round. Okay, so what are the adjustments here? Um, well, for Dehun, he's tried front leg, he's tried back leg, and uh, you're going to see the adjustment go on here really quick, uh, which I won't spoil, although if you haven't seen this. And then for Iran, what do you what do you plan to do? Well, maybe add in a little bit more punches, which you've been doing, and mix that in with more flurries. It sounds like really general advice, and it kind of is, but it's been it's what's been working. The second, third kick follow up have been uh, been that's what's been able to get through Dehun's defense and score his points. And looks like he's fighting a little more toe to toe. Nice punch. So if you guys haven't figured out, um, the adjustment was turn up the turn up the the kicking volume and the press volume. So in these last few seconds, Dehun has I don't think let even a whole one or two hasn't even let like two seconds go by before he's in Husini's face again. And the reason for that is what Husini was doing to him before was he's not letting Dehun really reset on the defense. He's pressing him a lot, trying to get those follow ups in to score those points, which is why he's up by five points against. Um, in my opinion, like one of the greatest fighters of all time, or in my opinion, the greatest fighter of all time. I've seen Dayun do things. Oh man, this guy's killer. Um, anyway, 
so what Dehu's is doing now is the first two rounds has kind of been a, a tempo of like one kind of press, occasionally a flick, and in this last round he's really turning up the afterburners and getting it. And he knows for the most part uh, Iran's defense is going to be in place, so he's kind of safe to do these kicks here and try and fight Husini on the line. Nice punch. I think after a little bit, uh, he cools down right when the now that the lead's a little bit closer, but keeping the keeping the offensive pressure on here. Painful. That is painful. Well, do a replay because uh, well, ev at this level, every point matters. I mean, you're probably not going to win that, but. Nice try. High cut. Yeah. I was going to say a good adjustment by Hosini would be to um, to go in for the punch, given that Damon's being that aggressive. And he does one better and gets on the inside and scores. That one of those inside kicks. So Hosini's kind of got his number now. He says, okay, if you want to fight on the inside, I'm going to be prepared to fight on the inside a little bit more. We'll see who's in guys, in, inside game is better and uh now he's duking out instead of trying to play the little cancel cancel game now who's seen his body weight's a little bit more forward more into the fight more ready to fight dehoon um on these on these multiple exchanges oh that would that might have scored that was a nice kick good trap there too nice punch oh no, no score think about the oh nice so uh, that was good because Iran knows David's probably not going back. It seems like the gameplay the last 40 seconds has been go, 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 go. So Dehun standing close distance or not moving that far back in this situation. Probably a good guess if you were to throw a short head kick, it's probably going to hit. So if he had done that and Dehun would slide back, obviously there's like no chance. But because he knows Dehun's going to be engaging and Dehun's been pressing the fight, the adjustment by Iran was to try and flip to the head. Uh, that does slow. You can see that, what's it called? That does frustrate Dehun a little bit. He's forcing it. He's pressing for a lot of opportunities here. And, I mean, it is unfortunate that you're doing all this work just to get scored on it. It's unfortunate. <laughs> right back though. <laughs> nice punch. And good adjustment by uh, Iran to kick kind of short, knowing Dehun's going to be standing there. The tone, the tone has kind of been set. This match is this last round is going to be. Su oh my gosh, Dehun with the, with the. Uh, flick to the face. The tone's been said that this match is going to be two minutes of a lot of kicking. So, uh, Iran a lot more prepared for that now. It willing to engage Dehun forward a little bit more, which is on well, this one. Good adjustment for De for Dehun to. If this happens, generally, I'd say I would normally say that's a good timing reset one where you break and then you you engage again right here. Not not this one. The one right after this. Boom, engagement. So you normally when that happens, I would say uh, that's almost like a timing reset because um, because they just broke and usually after that there's a little bit of a lull. But given the pace of the match, I think this is more so Dehun adjusting really fast, seeing the opportunity at like literally every second he can. He's in, when you're in the clinch, you don't want to be backing out unless you're against Bradley Sinden very specifically because he has those great inside kicks. And uh, that's how Dehun ended up beating Sinden. Um, but in this situation, Dehun's really saying, like, never say die. So every mistake he can find by Iran. One of them was just sliding backwards in that engagement. Generally, you want to be the one standing your ground. The other guy's moving backwards because it's hard to kick that way. Dehun capitalizing on that, following up right after for that head kick. Tying the game up finally. And the, wow, the backside. Well, those cut. That was close. That was close. Uh, that was, what's it called? Good job by Dane to score that back, 
kick to the backside, and nice try by uh, Iran to try and go around for his head. I don't think Dayhun's going to let off the offense here. That's what's been working. He may he may keep the offensive pressure and then sit more on defensive kicks to try and get to try and lure Iran in, so it's easier for him to score, especially on the Dado system. Uh, but I don't know. I actually don't remember the last 30 seconds here that well. So that may be the plan. It may not be. He may just keep pressing this offense because he's tearing. Uh, he's he's finding a lot of holes in uh, Iran's game. Oop. Not sure why they have the coaches here. Oh, nice try. So, also, like I said, there's a lot of clashing going on. So, the short head kick, good attempt by Dehun here. So, moral of the story is, if you know, more of the moral of the story is, if you know someone's pressing, short head kicks is a really, really good answer. Ed. Knows that head kick's coming, so that's why he's ducking. Oh, like I said before, if you know they're coming in, short head kicks, man. Good try right there. Good good adjustment here by Iran. Uh, the reason this works is because he knows Dehun's coming in, so short kick to the body. Uh, sometimes a punch blocks it, sometimes it doesn't. He risked it, or had the follow-up ready anyway. Scores the point. And uh, that's the finisher. I don't think there's really. Um, I think this was just a good. I don't. I almost. I don't. I actually don't know if this was even calculated by Dehun or if this is just in the reaction that when you get that close, it's to the head because his left leg sometimes does go to the body. This some does sometimes go down here, and so for Iran to spin, trying for the back kick is not a bad move. And I think it's a well-educated move and a good reaction, considering it's like the last few seconds. Because, I mean, that could have easily, if that had scored, then um, Iran would have won. So, not a bad move. Dehun, good job covering and going up to the top, making sure that it goes up. Very, uh, very close match. And I, I got to say, I'm not sure if that was calculated or not, or if it was just chance that Dehun got that. Um, but that could have easily went to Iran, too, if, if that heel had slipped through or something like that. So overall, the take-home lessons, I would say, from this match are if your opponent's standing in place, I mean, I've covered this a lot, but if your opponent's standing in place, um, you can try flicks to the head, you can try punches or short head kicks. Um, the second thing to do, especially for higher level matches, is you need to expect and you need to practice a follow-up because a one-to-one -one kick ratio. So if I kick once and against one defense, it's probably not going to score. And it's usually the second to third kick that are going to score, which is how uh, Iran scores a lot of his points. Against a very aggressive opponent, punches are also a good viable option. Uh, I think they're a little bit stricter on punches now than they were before. Uh, but this one, they're giving them out pretty, I would say pretty fairly. So punch, always keep punch as an option, especially if you feel your opponent's going to stand there. And lastly, what I like from Daehoon here, which is a typical Korean thing, was, was he saved the final adjustments for the last round. And that seems kind of, um, that seems kind of obvious to do that because like in the last round you can't adjust, but not all players do. And so if you do have a big adjustment, it's, it may be worth saving until the last round where your opponent can't get that information from the coach anymore. And he's, uh, and they're kind of stuck there fighting you with the adjustment and they have to hope that their coach can relay the information during the round. And so the adjustment from Dehun was like round one was a lot of front leg poke. Round two was he mixed in a lot more of the back leg and round three, he just turned on the afterburners and said, we're going to get after it. And at the first 20, 30 seconds caught, it ran by surprise, I'd say, because his defense was still leaning back and cancel, leaning back and cancel. And then the whole 20 first 20, 30 seconds, Dehun was running him over and getting those points before it ran finally kind of mounted the defense. It's like, okay, this is going to be the way the round is. There's going to be a lot of engagements. Be ready for that. And you can see him adjust too. He starts uh, fighting Dehun a lot more on the inside versus leaning back for the cancel. So changing the tempo of your fight also is a good way to adjust. 
I would say, though, that you need to make sure you have the stamina to do that because if you only last a minute, you still have another minute in the third round where this guy might pick you apart if you use all your gas in the first half of it. So use that cautiously. If you are going to do that, I'd suggest training it and being sure that you can carry it the whole round. Uh, but other than that, great fight. If you guys have any other insights or any other fights, uh, please leave that down below. I understand I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't been watching fights as much. I'm looking forward to see what these guys do in the Olympics. Uh, but that's all for now, and I'll catch you guys next time.